Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Last time we left off, we did a couple of things at Bikini Bottom, and then we made our way here to Jellyfish Fields, which... I promised the game saved me doing all of this stuff, but apparently these little boxes respawn. I guess, so we can collect all of these again. I don't really think there's much of a reason to, though, so I might not focus on it too much. There does seem to be a lot of them over here, though. Ooh. Hey. Got some more underwear. Alrighty. So, yeah, I've, I've been enjoying what I've uh, played and seen of this so far. I saw some reviews say, like, oh, the game is weird and plays weird and it's not good, or various things like that, but... I mean, obviously I can't speak too much yet, but it feels like it controls well. I'd heard some people say that it felt clunky, which I just don't get. How do we get out there? Oh, wait, yeah, this is just the teleport box thing. I thought it was going to tell me about that. <laughs> oh, barnacles. Damn it. Dead. 998, 999, 1000. Ready or not, here I come! Whoop. Go away. Please, thank you. Okay, no, I'm not I'm not getting all of those again. No, screw that. Okay, so these these things are not that important. If I see any of the high value ones, I should definitely grab those, but or any one that presents a unique challenge, but there's no point in just getting all of them every time. Because it seems like they just respawn infinitely. Oh, come on. Okay, what was the point of all of that? Just to get up here? If so, that's weird. Okay. Well, I did it. Oh, hey, there's a gold one. The purple ones were the most expensive, I believe, and I... I don't think I've seen one of those yet. So I'm interested to see when one of those is going to come up. It said they would be really, really well hidden, so... Also, I, yeah, I did notice the clam over there. Also, what is the point of a super combo in a Spongebob game? I don't- do I- do I have a style meter on how many boxes that I break? I mean, that'd be kind of cool if so. Alright, monster- or you're not a monster, you're a robot. Yeah. I guess they didn't want living things in the game that Spongebob murders. Probably wouldn't be very good for Spongebob's image. So they were like, yeah, let's go with robots. Oh, hello. That's a lot of you. Mega combo, monster combo, super monster combo. Needs to do laundry. Ooh, there's a spatula down there. Huh, there, there must be a character that can swim. I think, yeah, because it, it specifically said Spongebob and Patrick can't swim, so can Sandy swim? Yeah, so I'm guessing that's how we're supposed to get those spatulas. Because I could just fall onto it. Huh. At least I think I can get enough height to just fall. Well, not if I miss. This is probably just the incorrect way of doing this. I don't... I don't know. Or maybe it is the in intended way, but I gotta jump from over here? So I imagine anybody that tried to make this jump would probably die. Ooh, oh, come on, that was so close. It's hard to judge the distance. Alright, I'm gonna give it one more shot, and then I'm gonna say screw it. But hey, at least we're grinding up a lot of these things by constantly destroying these every single time that we die. Oh wait, I didn't have to destroy them that time. What? Okay, no, that time I went through it. I'm pretty sure. It, <laughs> it felt like I did, at the very least. Okay, I, I, I lied. One more time. Yeah, no, that, that time I definitely went through it. Okay. Okay. Or at least it looked like my head went through it. Maybe that doesn't count, maybe it has to be the center mass of your body, but... Regardless, it's not something I'm going to bother with anymore. Alrighty, let's go. Let's make progress. Get out of here, robot. Nobody has any time for you and your shenanigans. Whoop. Okay. Clam. Yes. Excuse me? Why did a fighter jet just come down and drop these boards for me. Checkpoint. Oh, okay, cool, they do exist. 
Also, is that the sound effect from Crash Bandicoot when you, like, hit a, uh, Wumpa Fruit away? That's what it sounded like. Wow, they just- they just put underwear all over the place, but I don't really need it? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, collecting all of the shiny objects just seems like... I don't know- I don't know, though. I don't know how many of these things I need, so... For the time being, I should just collect every one that I see. But once I buy all the things you have to buy with them, I guess... Of course, it kind of seems like they're like gems from Spyro 2, in that they're going to limit our progress at some point if we don't have enough of the shiny objects. So maybe I should just keep collecting them forever. This is a Freezy Fruit. Only Patrick can use the Freezy Fruit. Oh, Well, great. Now I know I can play Patrick. Thanks. Just wanted to grab that. All right. And this is once again, yeah, just more underwear. Well, they do not want you running out of health. That is for sure. There's three... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... hearts, basically, on my screen right now. Which is absolute insanity. They're just like, no, we can't let these uh, kids playing this game die. No, can't happen. Yeah, so do I. It was always fun. Whoop. I more so liked to watch other people open my gifts, though, because I wanted to see their reaction to what I got them. It was always sad when somebody didn't like the gift you got them, though. Huh. Do I have to do something different to make that jump? That seems like... Oh, okay, I just have to delay my double jump a little bit. Okay, there's a sock over there that I think I want to grab. Oh yeah, that was B. Here we go, I made a barrel bridge. Now let's go get Patrick's sock. wonder if I missed a button like that somewhere over there by where that spatula was. I do also just kind of feel like I can't oh, get that right now. Be glad to have this back. Oh cool, there's one of the purple ones. Okay, that's worth 10, it looked like. Okay, so it's not even that much more. It's They're basically like the gems from uh, Spyro. They have the, a lot of the same values, with like purple being the highest. Actually, no, in Spyro, gold is the highest, I believe, but purple's the highest one that you see consistently. The gold ones are usually not in very many places, I find. Hello, jellyfish. Sorry, I had to murder you with my wand. You know, SpongeBob, very, very well known for his murder of all living things. Ah! Okay, I thought I was dead. Never mind, we are not dead. I can grab those, though. Well, maybe that's why they put all this HP here. For when I get smacked by these things. Gimme, 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 gimme. All right. Oh yeah, I guess I guess it lists the order that the currency goes. So it's red, yellow, green, blue, purple. I'm guessing. So green is the third level. So that thing just like punted me off the side of this last time. So I really need to be careful here. Huh? Okay. Thought I was going to get hit there. There he is, the king jellyfish himself. Uh huh. Wow, a bungee jump for a golden spatula! I must be in heaven. Is there a heaven for sponges? I mean, it is a living thing, so maybe. Oh, let's go ahead and get up here and get this. Yeah, I guess I can't make that jump. Boom! What does that do? That raises those platforms so I can get over there, but I'm gonna do what Gary said and did the bungee jump. Bungee jump. SpongeBob can bungee from it. To bungee from the bungee hook, just jump up and touch it. To dive downward, press A. To exit the bungee hook. Oh, that's how I get this. Okay. Oh, okay. This is pretty cool. Alright, wasn't expecting this. Dive. There we go. We got it. So I was just 
Yeah, no. I was an idiot. I was an idiot for trying that, but <laughs> earlier, but uh, I just wanted to see if I could do it. But no, no. The game is the game is gonna give me a hard no on that. You must do it the correct way. I just find it funny that I could actually reach it, but SpongeBob wouldn't collect it unless I did it the right way. All right, another checkpoint. Yeah, that does sound like the sound effect from uh, Crash Bandicoot. This thing just really likes whacking people. Uh, is there anything up there? No. So you're just sir. I get it. Ham, mer. Oh. Okay. Yep, I get it. Take that. Yeah, I saved you, buddy. How do you feel about that? Oh, and then I proceeded to hit you in the face. And now you're confused. Give me some underwear. Oh, you're damn right it is. Yeah, laugh at me, why don't you? Now you're dead. How's that feel? Give me those underwear. It sure would be problematic if I was out here running around and there just wasn't underwear scattered all over the place. Then, I would really be in trouble. I would say, well, then Plankton would be unhappy, but honestly, Plankton seems kind of screwed by this turn of events as well, and he's the one that started it. That's a cool little thing right here. It's like a structure of a giant jellyfish. That's neat. I like that. Cool bit of environment. So, can I make it up there? Doesn't seem like it. Huh, no. I don't think that's one I can make. Of course, I could just be timing my jump incorrectly. Alright, so let's look around at what we got. We're missing a bunch of things over there, but I don't see anything important like... socks or anything of the sort. What is this? What is with this thing? Spongebob needs to know the bubble bowling move in order to play this game. Alright, so we gotta come back once we get bubble bowling. And that is some sort of new technique that I will learn. Doesn't seem like there's much reason to come up here. And I've gotta get up there, which I believe requires me going this way. I bet we're gonna hear that a lot throughout this game, huh? I love opening presents. Okay, then come on, that purple one was right there. That one wasn't even hard to find. Okay, is there a reason for you? Is that the only reason? It appears so. Alright, I'm, I'm apparently just searching in the wrong places for a lot of these secrets. I imagine the main objective things and even the collectibles like Patrick's socks <clears throat> aren't going to be too hard to find here. Jeez, voice crack, because it's early in the morning. Screw you, early morning voice. And bust, and... Okay, you just you just have reds in you, so I don't care. This is goo. Someone out of Petra can't swim, so they don't need... So don't let them fall into the goo. Can they not... Oh yeah, they can't swim. Yeah, because of the episode where they go to Goo Lagoon and they're both, like, drowning. But, uh... Larry, at the end of the episode, he makes them learn how to swim. He's like, you're doing great, boys, but they keep getting, uh, butt cramps, wasn't it? Why am I risking my life for this? I don't know. But yeah, they keep getting butt cramps, so maybe they still can't swim because of the butt cramps. They never learned how to swim because the butt cramps were too strong. So just a, that is just an ironing board, basically. Whoa, these things shoot you high. Okay, weird flowers. You really shoot me high. Also, yeah, I saw somebody in the comments mention, uh, is Bubble Buddy saying that he's, like, a bubble-holic? In the last episode? And yeah, I did pick up on that. I didn't comment on it. Oh. Interesting. Didn't expect that. I was kind of just going this way because there was stuff. What was the point of you? I don't know what that does. Or what it's connected to? But yeah, that that wasn't lost on me. Bubble Buddy being like, Oh yeah, you know, I... I do love my bubbles. 
and uh, I, I may be, I may have a problem. Okay, there's a teleporty. Yep, teleport box, blah, 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 blah. Don't know why I clicked on that sign, thought maybe it'd say something different. That machine huffing and puffing over there is a Duplicatotron 1000. The D-1000 will continue to create robots until it's destroyed. Be careful, though. It goes out with a big bang. You're damn right it is, because I'm here to murder it. So it's gonna go out with a very big bang. Boom. Alright. Good, good, good. Just heard something weird in my background. I think it was one of my cats messing with something. Alright, so there we go. It's another golden spatula. It said, like, press RB to travel somewhere. I'm guessing that was just a way to get out of the level, but it went away really quickly. And I did want to check to see if there was anything else I could get over there, but... Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm just- I'm just a fool. I walked up to this, and I thought it was just, like, barring my way, but I didn't see that little text pop up at the bottom that said, Press RB to travel to Jellyfish Caves. So, yeah. Ooh, okay. I'm- I'm an idiot. Cool. Let's go. <laughs> I kinda just was like, oh, okay. Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail! And mail? Excuse me? Huh? Uh, what? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? Uh, I don't think that's Mermaid Man, <laughs> either. I also don't know what the deal is with Mermaid Man's actor. That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! I don't know, Mermaid Man. This is just getting kind of weird. I think you're abusing your power over your fan. Can't take it! This is a slide. SpongeBob, Patrick, or Sandy jump onto a slide. They will zip down the slope at hydro hydrodynamic speeds. Alright. Oh, okay, so we're just going on our tongue. Yeah, I remember this happened one time. That is really cool. I like when they, like, have things from the show to, um... That's like an ability. Like, just something that appeared in the show once. Like, I'm pretty sure in some episode... Should do it again sometime. In some episode, Patrick, I mean, uh, SpongeBob basically just went around doing that with his tongue, sliding on sand, as it were. Okay, what was. Was that an alternate path, or did I end up going the correct way on accident? This is a checkpoint now. But there was more stuff back there. I wanna, I wanna see what that other stuff was. You take me back, right? Yeah. Okay, so I went some alternate direction because I jumped up on a ledge over there, but... What was the rest of the stuff down here? Boom. Oh, did these just end up taking me to the same place? Oh, okay. Never mind, I thought those were actually different areas, but I do want to try and get that sock. Which I think I can do if I just jump at the correct time. Come to Papa Sock. So I think it was over here on the right side, yeah. So we wanna jump, jump. Oh, it rocketed me off too fast. Okay, well. We'll try one more time again on camera, and if I don't get it, then we're gonna we're gonna cut until I do get it. And I'm pretty sure this is how you get this one. I'm just failing at it apparently. I think I have to jump sooner. Ah, oh, I screwed it up. All right, well, cut time it is. Boy, okay. Managed to get it that time. Basically, all I did that was different was I didn't waste a jump going off the slope, because the slope kind of gives you some momentum and height anyway, and then you save your regular jump and your double jump for actually getting onto the platform. 
Also helped that Spongebob grabbed the ledge. You need to get Patrick to help him, but he's unreachable. Maybe these switches will create a way. The robots are guarding them heavily. You have to battle through. Ooh, I like this funky beat we have going on. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that. Hello. Go boom, please. Alright, did I- No, I didn't actually press the button. Whoop. Ow. Yeah, laugh. Laugh at me. Okay. Now laugh from your grave, fool. Uh... Let's see. Yeah, over here... And we're gonna go up here and press another one of these bad boys. Hello. Goodbye. There we go. Die. There we go. Okay, so that's all the ones right here, correct? Whoop. Go away. I mean, you're just feeding me money at this point. Okay, we don't need another pair of underwear. We are good there. So, if, if underwear is our, um, health bar, I imagine that's our health bar for everybody, so does that mean Sandy wears briefs? Always thought of Sandy as at least more of a boxer's person. But hey, I'm not judging. Hey, SpongeBob! Woo! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Hey! Now we're Patrick. He has a belly bounce. And a slam. And uh, what was, what was that other attack we always use? Oh, pressing Y in the air to fly up. He doesn't seem to have that. This is a throw fruit. Patrick can pick up throw fruit and throw them. Press the B uh, button to pick up a nearby throw fruit, then press it again to throw it. Throw fruit can push buttons, destroy tiki's, and damage robots. But use it quickly because the throw fruit wilts after. Really? After a few seconds? What kind of useless fruit is this? Well, there we go. I did it. Oh How boy. Many do I have to carry? Patrick can also pick up and throw tiki's, but only tiki's that don't have other tiki stacked on top of them. Okay. So, I can pick that up, and throw it at you. Cool. What is this? Bus? Oh, swap characters. Bus stop, you can switch between characters. Don't really see much reason to yet. Hey bud, what are you doing here? I like your... mustache? It's very odd, though. Oh, you can't jump with it, huh? Okay. Oh, okay, so we, we gotta... We gotta throw the fruit up there. Repeatedly. Alright, up we go. And up we go. And... throw. There we go. And this is just a catapult? Yeah. Fly, Patrick, fly! Alright, that's a checkpoint, and... Hmm, should I go ahead and end the episode off here? No, we can go for a little bit more, because I did have to cut out a fair bit, so... Ow. So, Thunder Tiki. When Patrick touches it, it will begin to storm, and after a few seconds it will go boom. Don't be near it when it goes boom. Oh, so they're Nitro Crates from, uh, Crash Bandicoot. So that's how you're supposed to get rid of them without actually dying to them. Okay, cool. Well, that makes that whole process much easier. I've just been smacking them. Oh, wait, why did I do that? That's just, that was just the return back over here. Of course, I guess I had no way of knowing exactly where it was going to go. Hey, buddy, you listening to some music? This is a pretty good song playing right now. Oh, I recognize that character from the show. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! The rock is talking to me. Oh, mighty rock! I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. 
Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Sounds lewd. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Wow, Plankton the Capitalist. Oh, thank you. There we go. Boom. RBD read. Jump in the air. Yes, I'm the ground. All right. Well, now I think this is a good time to go ahead and end this off because I don't know how long this cave will be. So I think this is probably a good stopping point. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. And I will see you next time.